Hey, it's David. Welcome or welcome back to Cross Fitness, helping men and women get in the best spiritual shape of their lives. One workout at a time. Quick thought in this video that I'm calling the power of a single encounter with God. Oh man, if we ever plug into the one true and living God in a truth encounter with the word and a power encounter with the Holy Spirit, I'm telling you things will not be the same. You know, I'm doing the one year Bible as is my custom. I've done it for, I don't know, 35, 40 years, just trying to get through the Bible cover to cover every year for the rest of my life, you know? And um, I'm in the book of Acts right now, and I was just struck by the power of a single encounter with Saul of Tarsus, you know? If you're familiar with the Bible, then you're familiar with the story of how he was going about to persecute the Christians after the martyrdom of Stephen. And uh, he was on his high horse, you know, heading to um, yeah, uh, let's see, on the road to Damascus, you know, and then he had an encounter with Jesus, right? Knocked him off his horse, blinded him for three days. And, um, and then, you know, his men led him to a place and, uh, God sent a man named Ananias to go and the power of God operated through the man of God, Ananias, to lay hands on him and listen to the power encounter with with God that Saul had. It spanned, you know, probably three days, but he got divinely healed. He got born again. He got baptized in water. He got baptized in the Holy Spirit. He got called, commissioned, anointed, appointed by God to be his ambassador, Christ's ambassadors. Did a 180 flip, right? So much so that people were terrified of him coming to speak about Jesus in their synagogue, but that's what they did. And, you know, he had to get, you know, Barnabas and some others to vouch for him that he's not, you know, the crazy whack job that he once was. But now he is a born-again, blood-bought, redeemed, spirit-filled uh, evangelist apostle for Jesus Christ, the resurrected Messiah. So that's, that's a, perhaps an extreme example lifted from the Word of God. But, you know what, it's no less of an example to us that I believe that one single encounter with God can be so powerful, so transformational, that it can revolutionize our lives. You know, one altar call at the church service that you and I go to, many of them invite you, hey, we've got prayer partners here at the altar. Hey, why don't you go up? Why don't you humble yourself and swallow your pride and like step out and step into God's timing in the river of life to go get these people to pray for you and just do the James 5, 16 thing, you know, confess your faults one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Maybe God will use that encounter to change things for you and flip the switch and change the script and alter your mindset, right? Um, maybe it's just a long walk with God in nature. Maybe it's your going to bed and having a dream uh, that's an inspired dream or a vision. You just close your eyes and kind of meditate on the word of God and God begins to show you things in your spirit, man right? Or maybe it's encounter, truth encounter with the word. You know, you just read in the Bible and you say, Jesus, open my mind to understand the scriptures. And then you read something and bam, there it is. There's what you needed for the, for the, for the now moment. It's a rhema word from the Logos. And so I'm just telling you that I think that you and I can have as much of a relationship with God as we care to have. And as we seek him, we'll find him. As we pursue God as God chaser, God will allow us to catch up with him. He is not playing hide and seek with you. Or me. He wants us to encounter him. He invites us, Lord. You know, Revelation 3 20 says, Boom, boom, boom. Jesus speaking, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone will hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and eat with him and he with me. And guess what? You know, what the door is? It's the door to his own house. And we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are the habitation of God. This is the mystery of the ages, Christ in us, the hope of glory. But we don't want to squeeze him out through our 21st century, first world distractions, right? We want to invite him in, spend time with the Lord, and allow him to change us through the power of the living Spirit of God. So that's my encouragement to you today. I hope that uh, urges you to just, you know, nudge you a little bit to just, hey, come on, let's believe God for a power encounter with God. You know, just like you want to go into the bathroom. It's like, Lord, here I am. I got like four minutes. Come on. I want to engage with you. I want to commune with you. I want to interact with you. I'm listening. 
I'm listening in the stall, you know. Uh, and God, I believe, will speak to you, okay? Well, for now, I'm David, your virtual mentor, reminding that I'm always for you, never against you. Have a super day. See you.